So these O-rings seem to be fitting real nice, but um, I also have a uh, Polaris Race Department uh, motor for one of these edges. It's the old 726 Snowcross engine, um, which was originally built by SLP, and uh, that's basically the base for the SLP 727 engine. Um, now, I've dug into that guy a few times, and uh, one thing I always noticed was that the O-rings were too big um they i guess maybe they were designed to shrink a little bit i'm not too sure the the, the mythology behind it but uh i could never get the o-ring to sit comfortably in a way where i felt okay putting the head on so in that case what we would do uh is just use a tiny tiny bit of uh gasket maker um the sealer i forget the company that makes it now but you know the orange crap that you would use on your exhaust um just a little tiny dab of that maybe in a few areas and that'll get the uh, o-ring to sit in and stick um and of course you know clean up your mess or whatever because you don't really want that stuff getting into your cooling system but uh if your o-ring's not fitting nicely and the oil trick is not helping it stick uh, a little tiny bit of uh, silicone or high heat uh, gasket sealer uh, will hold it together you know until you can get the head on and and it really doesn't cause any problems at least in my experience